Hi, my name is Chris Lewis Jones. I'm an artist based at Primary. I'm an artist flaneur, and a flaneur is basically a hopeful traveller. I travel a lot around Britain, and I often take these things with me paper, any thin paper, and something to rub with. So this is called graphite. There's one of these in your pack. Graphite is the stuff that's on the inside of a pencil, except this is a, a big, thick wadge of that. So what I'm going to show you today is frottage. It's something I do a lot of. And frottage is just French for rubbing. That's all it means. So you rub with the graphite, and you reveal the surface underneath. If you don't have graphite at home, you could use lots of other things. You could use coal charcoal, sometimes an old house brick, or shoe polish, anything that will float over the surface and reveal the lines. So I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to start with this plastic fork. So all you do is secure the object under the paper with one hand, and then stroke the surface of the paper with the graphite with the other hand. Sometimes people will secure the object under the paper with some tape, but once you've done it a few times, you'll be able to do it with your hands. There we are, knife and fork. You can see how quick it is to begin to generate a composition. Here's another interesting thing. This is a ceramic tile, the back of which has got a pattern on, so I'm going to see what this pattern looks like. There we go. So this is just a boring old tile, but it's quite a beautiful abstract composition. And what we can do is use the patterns that are within this texture in order to make an abstract composition. So I'm just going to repeat that bit a few times. So a really strong sense of rhythm. Another thing we can do is to work with black paper and metallic brass rubbing crayons. See how quick that is. Anyone can do this. You don't have to be good at drawing. So there's the silver, and I'm just going to move it slightly, the paper. And I'm going to go over the front. And then you could do the same with gold, and you could do this with any wax-based crayon. These could be ordinary cheap crayons that you have at home. So there we are, a very quick introduction to the art of frottage. I hope you enjoyed it. The important thing is to be creative. There's no right or wrong way of doing frottage. It's just about rubbing, and you can rub with anything that makes a mark, and you can use any paper. So, be creative, have fun.